My primary research area is the history of intellectuals, of concepts, and uh, of ideas. And, uh, but it's not the only one. But I think that we have to be sort of reflective about ourselves as intellectuals, our intellectual producers. And uh, I mean, I chose historical sociology for, for those reasons, because I think we have to know uh, what an intellectual is, what she does, how ideas come to her or him. And, and this is my main purpose. Of course, it's not the most spectacular, I think, in the social sciences, but I study conflicts, I teach social movements. But uh, mainly my main interest was to, to, to dig into this uh, history of intellectuals, how, how they appear uh, uh, and how they are now very different uh, across the world. So we had European models, okay, the Enlightenment or uh, uh, the engagé intellectual, the committed intellectual with Sartre, and now we have a lot of new types of intellectuals, and I am really interested in studying this fact. Why is it not possible to talk dispassionately about Pierre Bourdieu? I think there are many reasons, because he's still very active in the public debate, and uh, as he is, uh, um, I mean, the, the founder, I would say, of a, a school of thought, uh, Bourdieuan, okay, uh, not all uh, sociologists have this privilege. Of course, the, the Bourdieuans want to keep the legacy, uh, I would say, in a not orthodox form, and do not like people like me who are sort of heterodoxes or uh, uh, heretic, because I want, I'm not the only one, I want to, I mean, to study Bourdieu as any other type of intellectual object. So I have to take the, the passion out of my, my work, but uh, I, I try to do it dispassionately, but people read my work with passion and sometimes with uh, uh, a, a clear and, and frank and bold hostility. But that's the rule of the game in the social sciences and in the public deb debate, and we should not be afraid of uh, confrontation, contestation and uh, dispute, because you know in the Middle Ages the disputatio was the main form of uh, uh, intellectual dialogue in medieval philosophy, and we have to, to keep this alive.